Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Minecraft.net. This is Ponge Gaming bringing you another video on the Xbox platform. We are currently running after the adventure update, after 1.8 computer version. Not sure how that equates to the Xbox version numbers because I changed them up. But let's just keep it that way. Anyway, um, I'm right now joined with Nutty Stuff. Hello Minecraft.net, how are you doing today? I apologize for his audio quality. Xbox um, party audio isn't the best, so we have to deal. Anyway, you've probably seen a lot of 2x2 two two hidden piston doors like this before, but I want to show you how to do it very quick, very easy, very compact, and I'm showing you a variety of ways you can open it. For example, you can use the pressure plate method. You could also use the button method that makes it actually a lever. And you can even use a lever that acts like a lever. And you can use these for multiple purposes. For example, hide your diamonds. You know, seems legit, seems legit. And if you have seen our last video on Minecraft.net, um, we were on an unduplicated server. That server has apparently shut down because Moomin860 decided to stop playing Minecraft. So in the meantime, we are right now just in a super flat world with a big sandstone place for redstoning. And I guess we're going to jump into it. You ready, Jonathan? Let's go. Alright, so for this project, if you just want to use the pressure plate or the lever method, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need three repeaters, 12 sticky pistons, two torches, and depending on your setup and how far away you want the lever, you're going to need some more redstone. Same with the repeaters, depending on how far away you are. For my setup, I think I, need, I, think I need around half a stack. This uses very little resources. But if you'd like to add the button method to make it act like lever, in addition to this, you're also going to need an extra sticky piston, two repeaters, torch, button, and also some more redstone to wire it up. So let's get to it. Uh, let's kick some things off right now. Let's start her up as the sun, beautiful blocks on sense. Alright, so to start it out, what you're going to do is let's just build your little area where you want the door to be. So you're going to fill it up like this. Just a little cobble wall, um, not cobble, stone wall. You don't even need it if you don't want it. Just a little show you how to do it. Alright, so let's say that you're going to want your 2x2 two two to be right there. So you're going to take your pistons and you're going to do 2 right here, 2 right here, 2 right here. And then you're going to count out 2 where your, your door is going to be. And then you're going to, once again, count out 2. And then facing the side, count out two. So these face these pistons, and then count out two once more. Next, the building blocks that are actually going to fill the space, you're going to want to put in the corners of these. And then you're going to want to do your ceiling, but just over here. Okay, so now that we have that done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to dig a little bit of a trench right here that goes out to each of those pistons, and then goes deep once more just in the middle. And then you want to put two redstone torches on the end and then fill the little trench with redstone. Alright, now that you got that, you're going to take your repeaters and you're going to put one right here for with full delay on it. And then you're going to put a block and a block and then put redstone on the bottom block. Go around again. Repeater here, full delay. Block, block, and then some redstone. Next thing what you're going to do is you're going to do your floor and then you're going to want to do another outline of 2x2 two two right here. Uh, now that we got these, what we're going to do is we're going to put a block on top of this um, torch and then block going into here. Redstone, which is being powered by this torch over here. And then a repeater with no delay right into here. And then into this little design on top, just one, two, one, two. And then you're pretty much done. What you're going to do is dig down until you find that little redstone trench we built. And to test it, you can take a lever. So let's grab a lever from here. And you want to place it right there so it connects to that redstone. Flip it and hope it works for you. This does. It's open. And then if you close it, it looks like a normal wall on this side. So now we're going to show you how to wire it up with a lever and pressure plate first. And then stay tuned, then we'll show you how to do it with a button. And for this purposes, we're going to keep it on so we can see where the actual opening is. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the pressure plates here. You can either do two or one. I prefer two because it looks better. And then you're going to want to dig so you get under them and then line it with redstone underneath it. So you can see, it's a little hard to see because you get dirt and it's also at night, but there is some redstone right there. Actually, I think you guys see already, let's see. And then it's going to want to keep digging around your door underground, and then turn. One thing I like to do is actually, if you want, you can replace one of these with a lever for now, so you can actually see how long the current goes, if you don't want to count out 12 blocks, or however long it goes in your world. And you're just going to keep having it go around, adding repeater if necessary, so let's just add one right there and then just have it connect into that original redstone current right there. So now if you want to try it out, just take off the lever, take out this, and hold it down. 
it's not working right now because I actually messed up right here. This can't overlap because this has to go directly into that block. So you actually have to move it over by one more. Once again, just there's the main line, just connect it. We're going to add a little repeater onto it. And that should do it. So now you can just cover this up with sandstone or whatever your floor is made of and test it out. And there you go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is the lever method. If you want, you can do a lever on a block like over here, like I did before. But if you don't want to do that, um, you could just put it on the ground. But I prefer it actually on the block. So you can either put it here or here. And if you actually want to do the curve without having to put two blocks next to each other, because otherwise it cuts off the redstone, a little trick I learned is put some redstone dust right underneath this block, and then dig down one more, and put a repeater right here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to cover it back up, and then this repeater, if you flip the lever, you'll see that the repeater actually lights up because it's getting power. And you're going to do the same thing that you did with the pressure plate, just have it go right along into the main line. But because it's already there, I can just connect these two pieces of redstone right here, and the repeater will power the line, causing the door to open. And that's how you do the lever. Finally now, if you want to add the button into the system, like this so, you're basically going to turn the button into a lever. And if you're new to redstone, you probably never heard this term, it's called a T-flip-flop. Whoever came up with that name, it's a cool name. Alright, so what you're going to basically do is you're going to put a button on a block like this, and we're going to wire it the same way we did the lever. So you're going to dig underneath this block, redstone, dig one more, and add a repeater. That way that we can cover it, and this repeater is still going to get powered. So now what we're going to do, John, thank you, please stop. Thank you. Actually, that's me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it around, and just for me, I'm going to build it above ground. You probably want to build it below ground. Just make sure there are no repeaters that are close to this, otherwise you will probably mess it up. Have the redstone line going into a block, and then put a repeater on the side of the block. After that, put two repeaters. This repeater set to full delay, this set to none. Add a block, and add redstone. If you did it right, the redstone should light up. Then after that, add a piston, oh, excuse me, add a block, torch, and then a piston. If you did it right, also this torch should go off. And then a block out of the piston, it doesn't matter what block, as long as it's not obsidian, bedrock, or anything that cannot be pushed or pulled with a piston. So basically that's what you have right there. Now the way this works is there is a glitch with, or glitch if you want to call it, with Minecraft, where if a piston, such as this one, receives a one tick pulse, that it will pull out the block like this over here, but not retract it. If you press it again, it will retract it. And we're going to take advantage of that glitch by using this. So now if you push the button and you did it right, that sandstone block moved out and didn't get retracted. And push again, it does get retracted. So now we're, we're going to float the current through that block. And we do it either by putting a lever or redstone torch right here, adding a repeater, and then having redstone at the other end of the block. And then finally what we're going to do is we're going to tap into this little, the main line over here, bring it out too, so we make that mistake like I did before. Have it keep going, and probably going to want to add a repeater because it's a little while away. Did I really just say that? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going. Bring it around town. Sorry about that. And if you did it right, you basically should push the button. And the door should open. The reason why it's not working is I think I made the same mistake like I did the last time. I just need, oh, yep, I made the same mistake. What you need to do is I just never add a repeater because the line was reaching one side, not the other. And for it to work, you need both sides to work. So once again, just push the button. The door opens. Push again. Door closed. Now, if you want to add a way to get in from the other side, if you're going to close this part off, is just do the same exact thing I did but it should be easier because the line is right underneath here, the main line to power it. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Frost Air and Nutty Stuff. If you'd like to join our now also non-duplicated server, not as good as the last one because we just started that since the update, you can add me. My name is Frosted Air. Don't add Nutty Stuff. He's an idiot. And I'm not. You should add me. Add me. My name is Nutty Stuff. And I am a naked sheep. Yes, he is. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next video on Minecraft.net. See you guys.